God of War, Ascension. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, alongside, he only does everything, Colin Moriarty. Yeah. Colin, huge day. Holy balls, there's a new God of War game coming. Uh, we were both wrong. We predicted God of War 4. It's not God of War 4. No. God oh. of War Ascension. God of War Ascension, huh? What do you think that's all about? Ascending. Oh, of course. Uh, we, the trailer starts, of course, with Gaia, as usual, the narrator from the God of War games, talking. Many know the legend of Kratos, the mortal turned god who brought down the very walls of Olympus. But it's before he became the ghost of Sparta. What does that mean, Colin? Well, we see kind of how Kratos, the main character of God of War, becomes the ghost of Sparta uh, after he is cursed in the first God of War game. Right. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Uh, and he's, he's basically covered with the ashes of the family that he accidentally killed. He accidentally killed thanks to Ares, but we'll get to that. But there was a time before Kratos became the monster known as the ghost of Sparta. A time when something other than rage consumed him. Before rage consumed him, of course, what happens is you know he gets these powers from Ares to defeat the barbarians, right? To get the, to lead the Spartan army to victory, and then Ares tricks him into killing his family, infused with rage. That's why he yells everything he for five videos. Ares, I'm so angry, keeps going. But here's an interesting quote Guy puts out in his little teaser trailer. Quote: A time when, in spite of the madness that plagued him, Kratos would break his blood oath to an unjust god. And then when they say this, they show in the shadowy thing of this teaser trailer what it looks to be him killing his wife again, right? Because we saw the wife, Calliope, a Spartan, kind of setting the stage there in shadows. Right, and it's a little, the, the timeline is a little confusing. Obviously, we only have about a minute worth of footage right now yeah, so yeah, to yeah. work with. The timeline is a little confusing because he breaks his, his, he breaks his uh, oath to Ares after accidentally killing his family. So yeah. like, where exactly this fits remains to be seen. Well, what it's all screaming, right, is it's before he became Ghost of Sparta, before Rage consumed him, before all this other stuff happened. It sounds to me we're going very much a prequel in him ascending into becoming the God of War. You know what I mean? Because if you go in the chronological order of the video games, the PSP title, Chains of Olympus, that's the first one, him serving the gods during his 10 years of servitude. God of War, of of course, he's starting to break away from all that. He's going crazy. At the end of God of War, he becomes the God of War. He takes over for Ares. Kill Ares. Spoilers. I don't know why you haven't played these games. Came out in 2005. So this would be him, I guess, leading the Spartan army, right? If we're going back, maybe Ares has already given him the powers. Maybe he's leading up to getting those powers. Well, what's exciting is that the gameplay can't possibly be the same in this particular game because right. he he's not, he's not, he doesn't have those powers yet. So, like, how is this game going to play? Really it's, and, yeah, Gaia says in the trailer, right, no longer bound in blood. In that, you know, of course, he gets bound in the, in the uh, whatchamacallums. The right? Blades of Chaos. Blades of Chaos. I knew that. I just tripped up. But it's before then. So, yeah, if, if, how is this? Is it a real-time strategy game? I don't know if it's a real-time strategy game. Is this the PlayStation's pretty, answer to Halo Wars, turn, finally? Turn-based turn RPG. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's probably going to be a multiplayer-centric game. Ooh, multiplayer. Come but we'll on. see. I would love for you to be my Kratos, and then I'll come be your Bugle Boy of Company B. I would really enjoy the Bugle Boy. Yeah, I would really that. enjoy that. We hope we pointed out some things. Of course, in the trailer, it's, you know, giving you all these shadowy images. You see Athena, Medusa, Cerberus, some Spartans, the wife, Calliope, the daughter. Lots... To speculate about Colin. God of War Ascension, we now know a name, we now have a teaser trailer. Usually that means there's a reveal coming. E3, not very far away. I'd imagine they get this out the door before then, so we can see it, talk about it. So keep it here on IGN.com. Keep it to PS3.IGN.com. And if you see any PlayStation news out in the wild, tweet me at, at GameOverGreggy. Colin at No Taxation. Beyond. Beyond.